Yeah, mate, I don't know how they've done it, but somehow KFC and their zinger boxes have cast a spell over the Australian people. Yep, for some reason, any time an Aussie catches a glimpse of this bloke's face with a red and white colour scheme, their memory is instantly wiped of the last 15 times they had KFC, and the fact that five minutes after they finished pounding a zinger box into them, they were shitting through the eye of a needle. And it's no wonder, really, you know, because, I mean, your average KFC trip goes like this. After just having your memory wiped, you decide to head down to your local Kentucky Fried to begin the patented KFC ordering process, which consists of you spending 27 and a half minutes at the front counter while a 13 year old who very clearly cannot work the register properly takes your order. But not to worry mate because after only a short 45 minute wait you're finally handed the goods and make your way over to one of the many permanently greased up tables covered in little bits of lettuce and mayonnaise that KFC has to offer. After picking your zinger box up off the floor you bust open the box and discover not only are you missing half your order but the stuff they have included consists of one of those pathetic salads in a cup and a wicked wing with a bite taken out of it. Well at least they remembered your zinger burger and all your woes will go away once you get this thing into you. So you peel back the wrapper, go in for the first bite, and surprise, surprise, the sultans of Salmonella themselves have provided yet another piece of raw chicken. Disappointing, but expected. At this point, you reach for your can of Pepsi Max TM to wash the taste out of your mouth, but right as you grab it, it slips clean out of your hands and onto the floor. Yep, despite only being one bite into the meal, you are completely greased from the eyebrows down, mate. But not to worry, KFC has thought ahead and have included a handy little wet wipe to solve all your problems. Uh, unfortunately, it is uh, about the size of a postage stamp, but it's a thought that counts, mate. And I mean, I'm not knocking it, mate. You know, I, I love KFC. That's kind of the whole reason I started working here in the first place. And it's fucking excellent. You know, I love it. The work's easy and I get free KFC whenever I want, mate. How good. Oh, 37 family boxes for the same car. Fuck. Did that happen to be a, a Tarago by any chance, mate? Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay, okay. And did there happen to be someone playing guitar in the background while they ordered? Okay, ukulele. Okay, yeah, no, that is real, mate. That's not a prank. I'll be in in a sec. Yeah, mate, easily my favourite part of the gig, though, is the drive through And I've got to say, I really think I've found my calling here, you know, because for some reason, I've just got a real knack for dealing with these people. Yes, mate, yeah, I do understand that a chicken shop running out of chicken is ironic, mate, okay? I do get that, all right? But i just got to ask you one question, mate. Do you think I'm driving the fucking truck in here every day myself or something, do you? No. So what the fuck do you want me to do about it, mate? I can either do your twister with just the lettuce on it, a salad in a cup, or you can back your shitbox out of my driveway and fuck off. But yeah, mate, unfortunately, the elephant in the room with these sorts of jobs is uh, it's definitely the pay. And uh, I knew that going in, which is why I've been on the lookout for any sort of gap in the market that I can weasel my way into, and uh, I think I found it. Yeah, mate, you would not fucking believe the demand for some of these discontinued items KFC has, mate. I mean, I'm selling Double Down's absolutely hand over fist out here, and the secret is, even though it's not on the menu anymore, you can still go in there and order two burger fillets on their own, slap a bit of cheese and bacon on there, and bam, the Double Down is back. Wait, I can just do that? <laughs> Mate, I'm doing a fucking thing here. Can't you see the camera, mate? I'm just gonna go in there if you can just do that instead. Oh, eh? come on, mate. No, don't, don't do that. Oh, for fuck's sake, mate. You see that? You see what you've done? You just cost me a sale, mate. You owe me eight dollars, net. No, I'm not fucking joking. I'm having a crap. And turn this fucking camera off too, would you? Hey, mate. Half price. What is the charge? Eating a meal. Yeah, you used to sell bigger straws, you know, for the crushers. Big hit they were, you yeah. Cause you ever try drinking a crusher through a normal straw, mate? Miserable. It's like trying to suck a tennis ball through a crim safe door. Holy fuck. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I'm just jumping here at the end for a quick little PSA. I've been seeing a lot in the comments over the last like year of the channel, uh, people calling the character Murph Garn. Uh, Garn is the name of the channel and, and the group consisting of two people, myself and my brother Declan. This is how the show runs, right? I show up on set, the script is ready to go, the props are ready to go, the costume's ready to go. He does all that. I say the exact lines he wants me to say, the exact way that he wants me to say it. He takes that home, he edits it, and then he uploads it to the channel, okay? So he's actually a much larger part of the, the channel than you guys really so that's why we've added him to the cover photo. You probably see that on Facebook and YouTube. Anyway, thanks for watching again, and we'll see you later.